In the previous lessons, we have seen how to repair a non-bootable computer by accessing the troubleshooting menu from the recovery environment. In this lesson, we are going to see how to repair a non-bootable computer that can't even load the recovery environment. In this case, we need the recovery flash drive or the installation media drive to access the troubleshooting menu. The computer shows a boot failure due to the boot configuration database, PCD for short, missing or containing errors, and it gives the path to the PCD file. The PCD or boot configuration database contains information that allows the bootloader to know where the boot drive is located to load Windows 10. If this database is corrupted, the boot manager can't load Windows 10 and you get this kind of boot failures. The PCD can be damaged because of improper shutdown or Windows 10 updates that fail, for example. At the bottom, you can read that you will need to use recovery tools or any installation media to get access to the recovery tools. So this is what I'm going to use. On a physical computer, you can use the recovery USB drive or the installation media drive to start the computer and access the recovery environment. But as I am using a VM, it is not easy to start from the recovery flash drive. This is why I'm going to use the installation ISO media. So I'm going to set my VM up to boot from the installation ISO media. I select my VM, click on settings, select storage, click on the DVD drive, then I select the Windows 10 installation ISO media. Now I need to restart the VM. I need to press a keyboard key to boot from the DVD. The installation media displays the setup window. First, I need to change the keyboard layout to French. Next, I click on Repair your computer to display the troubleshooting menu. Click on Troubleshoot, then on Command Prompt. To repair the boot configuration database, I'm going to type the following command bootrec slash rebuild bcd. The bootrec tool will scan all disks to find a Windows 10 installation. When it finds one, it will use this information to rebuild the PCD database so that the computer will boot again. The bootrec has found a Windows 10 installation on the drive E and it asks me to add this installation to the boot list in the PCD database. I type yes to confirm. The operation completed successfully. Let's test if my Windows 10 will boot properly after this operation. Click on continue. I don't want to start from the DVD this time, so I'm not going to press any key. It works. The bootrec has successfully fixed the boot failure by rebuilding the PCD database.